Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner Fielding. Thank you for appearing today and helping us. You said in your testimony that uh, at 9-11 you uh, received information that there was a, a, a firearm from a credible source. Yes. Can you provide us that credible source? I don't know who specifically it was. However, in the operations center, not anybody could just call us up and say, you know, we think this is what happened. Uh, any information that came to us had to come from either the airlines or an FAA office or the FBI or some other government agency. Uh, it wasn't something that just anybody could access. So I, I personally don't know where that came from, but any information we had came from a credible source. Well, help me out a little. You're in, you're in a room and you hear that somebody else has received that information? What we had was uh, just a standard operations center had four walls. And on each wall, we had big blocks of the butcher paper where whenever anything of substance came in, we would write that information down on the paper. And then uh, when we were right putting together the executive summary, without looking at things politically or um, using any other filtering process, we just wrote down the facts that we had. And one of them was that a, a gun was on such and such a flight. and. Uh, the person also identified um, the seat where the, the gun was held by the passenger and that apparently a, uh, an individual sitting in front of that seat was shot. Uh, and we just reported that. You remember who wrote it on the butcher paper? Yes, there was a lady by the name of, oh, not, not on the butcher paper, but I know who wrote it on the executive summary. No, but I'm trying to figure out who, who received the information and wrote it on the, on the butcher paper. I'm, I really don't know. 